Hello, I'm Natalie from the Early Years Alliance and today I'm here to talk to you about how you can support your baby's physical development from around three months old um, by providing them with opportunities for that development which will support them to be able to sit independently, to crawl and eventually to be able to pull up. A baby's sense of movement and balance is controlled by their vestibular system. So this means that their brain interprets that information that comes from their inner ear um, along with information from all their other senses which helps them to find out things like which way is up, um, whether they are moving or whether they are stationary, um, how fast they're moving and which direction they're moving in. And they need to have lots of opportunities to interpret this information and practice that interpretation of that information to develop their sense of balance um, and to support them with those wider movements as part of their physical development. So a really simple thing that you can do with your baby to support them with this sense of balance and to give them those opportunities to move is to sing lots of movement songs at home with them. Um, this also gives the adults um, around your baby lots of opportunities for some physical exercise as well because we're going to be lifting and moving those babies around lots. Um, so they're experiencing all different motions in all different directions. Um, but of course, when we do that with some singing, then it's supporting their um, communication development at the same time. So it's really great because we're working on more than one area of development at once. So there's lots of things that you can sing with your baby. We could do lots of bouncing songs. So where you're either having your baby on your knee and you're going to bounce your knee. So you could support your baby around their torso as long as they are now supporting their own head. So we're looking at that kind of three months and onwards, holding them around the trunk and supporting them maybe with a leg either side. Or you can bounce them gently in your arms or actually on your lap just with that small amount of movement. You can also hold your baby around their trunk and lift them up and down. So that again, it's going to make sure that they're experiencing all of those different motions. So we could have something like, um, what shall we do with a bouncing baby? What shall we do with a bouncing baby? What shall we do with a bouncing baby early in the morning? So your baby is having that repetition of language, which is great for their communication skills. Um, but they're also having that movement, that up and down, and the more that we repeat that, the more that their brain is going to start to interpret that information using that vestibular system, so they start to interpret and anticipate those movements. We could also sing things like um, Zoom Zoom to the Moon, where you're going to whoosh your baby up at the end, um, bouncing along on a little tractor. So, any of those songs that have that little bit of motion and movement in them um, is going to give them that opportunity to move. And you can have a look at some of the other videos here on the Early Years Alliance YouTube channel. We've got lots of rhyme times on there that are including some of those songs that you can watch at any time that you want to do that, any time that's convenient. You can sit with your baby, you could participate in one of those rhyme times and give them that opportunity to move with your support. So when they're at the age where they're not able to um, move very much for themselves, we can move their bodies and it's really going to help them to develop that balance that they're going to need for those later gross motor skills as they start to sit, crawl, pull up and eventually walk. The next thing I'd like to talk a little bit about today is your baby's midline. So this is a sort of imaginary line that goes down the centre of your baby and it's to do with the two halves of the brain working in coordination. So when your baby uses their hand and crosses over that imaginary midline and reaches for something on the other side of their body, they're crossing that midline and what they're doing is they're coordinating um, the two sides of their brain. And this is really important that we structure um, some opportunities for them to do this and encourage that movement. So when babies start to crawl, they're using and developing their whole body as well as using those opposite sides of the brain. And crossing the midline helps the brain to develop coordination of movement. So it's really important for them to actually be able to master that motion because if you think they're using their arms and legs, both sides of their body, crossing over, figuring out that movement, they need to be able to coordinate it in that way. It's also great if we can encourage babies to explore the space around them by giving them um, different sensory opportunities and things that are going to engage them and really entice them to um, explore that little world around them when they start to become able to have that little bit more movement. Um, I'm going to show you a few things that we can provide them with to support with that. 
So the first thing is a sensory pack. So what I've got here is a big strip of cardboard that I've just cut from an old cardboard box and I've stuck down lots of different textured materials on there. So I've got some bubble wrap at this end, I've got some little pieces of craft felt, um, some crumpled up kitchen paper and then a little bit of patterned fabric at the end. And as you can see, this is going to be multi-sensory for baby because we've got the different colours for them to experience and the different patterns and textures to them to feel so it's really tactile for them on their hands and their feet and their knees or even on their tummies um, if they were sort of doing that kind of commando crawl on their tummy stage. Um, I've glued each section down, I've also put some sticky tape around that just to make sure it's really securely down so that this just lasts and it's something that um, I can use more than once so it's a repeatable activity so we're not going to lots of effort of making something that's maybe just going to be used once if we kind of make it a little bit sturdier in the first instance then this is something that you can get at every day for your baby and what I would do is I would place this down on the floor um, if it's on sort of a carpeted surface it's probably going to stay quite still if it's on maybe wood or tile you might want to use a little bit of um, like decorator tape masking tape something that's not going to ruin your surface and just stick it down so it's really fixed in place for your baby and then what you can do is you can pop them at one end and you can encourage them to explore those different textures as they move around on that surface they'll be reaching which is really important even if they're just laying on their tummy maybe for a younger baby using this just like a tummy time activity so that they can have that sensory experience as they're laying on those different surfaces um, but for a slightly older baby who's experiencing crawling, they're really going to enjoy trying to get from one end to the other of this little sensory surface. And then it can become a sensory walk as they're taking those first steps. Um, and they can actually explore things like the pop of the bubbles under their feet and how the little felt bits might feel. So really wide reaching sensory experience, which is going to encourage um, all of those skills that they're going to need to get them um, moving and get that, that crawling happening. It's also going to provide them with some opportunities to cross that midline um, as they're on their tummies and they're reaching across to the other side of the board there. So um, a sensory path which we can use in lots of different ways to support um, baby's development. The next activity is um, a activity that we would set up for um, a baby who's starting to sit um, independently. Please remember that if your baby isn't quite sitting independently and is prone to those tumbles, just to make sure that there's some um, pillows or a nice soft surface behind them, always supervising closely in case they do have a little wobble so we don't get any injuries. Um, but once they're starting to have that core strength and balance to sit, then we can start to use the vertical surface for activity. So we can start to put things on walls, on doors, um, so that they can experience things in a different way. And a really simple one that you can do is a little paper pull activity. So I've just got some little strips of paper. You see it's got a nice curve because it's from a roll of like, packaging paper. You often get this in large parcel deliveries as the packing paper. Save it, um, cut it up, reuse it, have it ready for something new. A little bit of masking tape and just stick the pieces onto the wall and then sit your baby in front of them and they're going to find that really enticing to pull at those pieces of paper really satisfying for them when they can actually pull that away from the wall because the masking tape isn't that strong um, and it gives them something to reach and grab so we're encouraging that reaching and stretching but also by putting them at different heights across the wall it's also going to encourage that reaching across the midline so um, if I was sat behind baby I might say oh can you what's this one can you reach this one and encourage them to reach across cross that midline both ways and pull those off the wall um, you could do that on a flat surface as well as um, as a crawling encouragement as well so you could take them maybe along the hallway um, and it gives your baby something to kind of go after and, and to try and pull off. You can do this with uh, post-it notes are really great as well. You could just stick lots and lots of post-it notes um, onto a wall or a door uh, for your baby to pull out or things like the little craft felt. I would maybe cut that into little strips um, and stick that up as a different texture and you, you could do a combination of um, different things all together. Um, another one that's quite nice are the little sensory balls or ball pull balls, kind of like lightweight plastic balls 
can actually stick those up with a strip of tape as well as something for the baby to reach up and pull away from the wall. And the last little activity, similar sort of thing, would be using um, some lolly sticks. So I've just stuck some lolly sticks down with a little bit of washi tape onto a baking tin. This is a quite a nice one to put, um, again, as that when they're moving from tummy time to seated activities and reaching forward. Just put it sort of at an arm's length so the baby can really reach forward and try and pull those off. You could kind of stand it up in front of them as well so they could have that as, as a more vertical plane. That's really going to support their fine motor as well because they're going to have to work quite hard to um, grab hold of something that's a little bit smaller. Um, so they're going to need to use a different skill there to the paper one in terms of pulling these off. Again, as a nice... Um, kind of encouraging that crawling, you could stick these across the floor. So you could have a little trail of these um, as something that your baby's going to kind of go after and try and pull. Please um, supervise really closely. They're a little bit smaller. We wouldn't want the tape or the sticks going into baby's mouth. So as they've pulled them off, um, you're going to kind of need to go after them uh, um, and collect these as you go so that their baby's kept nice and safe. So always supervising during activities, taking particular care um, with small loose parts. So hopefully you've got a couple of ideas there of things that you can do at home with your baby to support their physical development in developing their balance, encouraging sitting, crawling, pulling up um, and all of those gross motor milestones. If you'd like any other ideas for things that you can do at home then you can go to our website which is www.familycorner.co.uk um, or you can go across to our YouTube channel Early Years Alliance to have a look at lots of other videos uh, with tips, suggestions and activities for you to try.